I'm going to put in our veggies now. And I'm only using about half of what I chopped. But once again, it's up to you. Put in some pretty green bell peppers. Some red bell peppers. Orange. And add our onions. <laughs> now we're going to stir this all together. Mm, I wish you could smell this with me. We're going to let this sit and cook for about three to four minutes, but just remember to keep occasionally stirring. I think our dish is just about right. But one thing I do want to mention is, like I said before, it is personal preference, but I prefer my veggies more on the crisp, tender side. But one thing you want to remember is when you take it out, it will continue to cook because of the heat. So cook them just a little bit less than you think you want them because you don't want them overcooked. So now I will put it in this lovely little bowl. I've taken it out of the pan and put it in the bowl. And now I'm going to put it in the microwave to keep it warm. But remember, don't actually turn your microwave on, just put it in there. I've cleaned out my pan, and now I'm going to show you a nifty little trick. So, I love fajitas, but I don't love the mess that can come along with it. What we do in my family is we make it like a fajita quesadilla. So, what I'm going to do first is put one tortilla back in my pan to warm it up. And I have my pan on medium heat, and I'm going to, oops, going to get some of this yummy chicken mixture onto my tortilla. Oopsie. That's okay. Move it back on there. Try to get some of those other peppers and some onions. Once you have everything spread out evenly, I'm going to put a lot of cheese on there because I love cheese. And I just have some reduced fat cheese. But one thing you definitely want to remember, do not get non-fat cheese. Because that can get very hard and it just won't melt the same. Reduced fat is fine, but avoid non-fat. Okay, now what we're going to do is place our second tortilla on top, try to get it, okay, and now you just wait about 30 seconds to let the cheese melt a little bit, and then we're going to flip it. It's time to flip. Now flipping can be a little bit tricky, so one thing I like to do is get a long spatula and get it under there and try to put it on a plate about the same size just like that and then put your hand on the top and flip it over that way it's time to take it up the cheese has melted beautifully so once again <clears throat> Just try to get it on the plate as best you can. And now I'm going to take it over here for cutting. Oopsie. We are going to use a pizza wheel to cut our fajita quesadilla with. So the best thing I know to do is try to feel where your meat is and go in between there. So you roll it back and forth. It's okay if a few of your peppers kind of squish out, that happens. Okay. I've put my Greek yogurt on and I'm using that in place of sour cream. Now I'm going to add some tomatoes. A little bit of lettuce. 
and some salsa. And this is mild salsa, but you can use whatever heat you like. It's time for the best part, the taste test. Let's see. Mmm. Muy bien. It's so good. You will never miss the calories in your normal fattening Mexican food. You see, you really can have your Mexican food and eat it too, just minus all the calories. Thank you so much for watching Healthy Teen Cuisine. Until next time, adios!